This is uh, Steve Sterling. I'm a data reporter for NJ Advance Media. I'm here with Brian Donahue, our resident New Jersey culture expert and longtime commentator. Uh, and today we're going to be talking about a little bit about the uh, divisions that exist in New Jersey. So I guess to start, you know, why do you think there are so many of these divisions in, uh, from from north to south, east to west, and and uh, and why why are people so passionate yeah, about it's it? It's always I mean it's always been fascinating to me to see these divisions and see how they fall along that Keith line, which divided the colonies of East and West Jersey back mm -hmm. in the 1600s. It's amazing to see how, like things, divisions still fall along that line, like Giants versus Eagles, you know, Mets versus Phillies, Pork Girl Taylor Ham. Although, like you showed, that's a little farther north. So you have those divisions that go back to, you know, the colonies, and then you also have other weird, more regional subdivisions within there, like the Taylor Ham Pork Girl thing. I was I was at Delran High School a couple of weeks ago, and speaking at a class, and they handed me uh, some Boost to drink. Now, no one outside that little pocket of Burlington County knows what Boost is, right? But to them, it's like this thing that they hold on to so tightly. And I think one of the things is that, you know, in New Jersey, we have so little that we call our own here. Like, you know, the, the football teams play here, say they're from New York. The Statue of Liberty is in New Jersey waters, but New York says it's theirs. So when we have something like Taylor Ham, that's ours, that's just a New Jersey thing, like we get a little too excited and celebrating it, maybe. And then you have the North Jersey, South Jersey divide, and I think like, I think the, the South Jerseyans, I don't know why they're so upset about North Jerseyans still calling it Taylor Ham, which is the pre-1908 name. And some of it, I think, goes back to a little bit of an inferiority complex <laughs> on South Jersey, that North Jersey has, you know, so dominates the, the economics in the state and the population of the state. And, uh, and then there's North Jersey was just kind of acts like South Jersey doesn't exist. Well, well, let me ask you this, you know, along those lines, do you think, is, South, is Central Jersey a place in your eyes? If, I think it is, because having grown up in North Jersey uh, and lived in, not South Jersey, but the Trenton area, which is getting south, and that's a whole other debate, and now I live in Monmouth County, and I feel like there's, there's elements of of both waving through the air. I, even in the accents, I hear like a long time, some Monmouth County residents still have that little bit of a Philadelphia out, you know, they, they roll the rows like that. And I'm, I'm shocked to hear that because then you also have the New York accent filling in that area. So I, is it a place or is it just a sort of the gray area between black and white? But it's definitely a distinct. Oh, it's a place. It's, it's, it's yeah. absolutely a place. Uh, somebody that grew up in Branchburg, you know, I, I define myself as 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 Central Jersey. So, uh, you know, do you do you think that 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 area is you know sort of acts as like a, a swing uh, in New Jersey? Where you know, what was interesting to me about the Taylor Ham versus Pork Roll is that uh, while Central Jersey tends to side with North Jersey on most things, uh, in this case, uh, by and large, I mean that dividing line was between uh, where we had set previously the the boundaries of Central and North Jersey. Do you think do you think Central New Jersey is sort of the, the swing state and can go either way? Yeah, it is in that debate, right? right? Although I still see like like the use of pork roll again. Everyone's saying why we debate this, but it is really interesting to look at just linguistics and usage and, and phrases like you know, uh, you know hoagie versus sub or pork roll Taylor ham and and uh, that's that's one that doesn't fall. Pork roll Taylor ham is the one that doesn't fall across that line. Like it's way more of an older antiquated usage that's just stuck in North Jersey. I've seen other ones like that too, like like uh, people in part pockets of North Jersey and Passaic County and Bergen and even Union. I grew up calling, when you slide down the hill on a sl sled, we called it sleigh riding. And I still see signs say no sleigh riding. So these little like little pockets, you know, um, of that stuff like up in North Jersey. And, and Central Jersey, it's just this, this, this wonderful, blend. Wonderful, wonderful is the word you're working with. The best of both worlds. <laughs> Do you think that New Jersey should be two separate states? Do you think that that initial boundary of East and West Jersey at that point, which has become North and South Jersey, uh, you know, sh should we have been a state divided in the first place? Or, or is this part of what uh, makes our, our little state wonderful? Would we be better off if like North Jersey was part of New York State and South Jersey was part of Pennsylvania or Delaware? We might get more money back in our federal taxes and the government. <laughs> I'm not going there otherwise than that, but money-wise, maybe financially, maybe it would have made, made, made some sense. 
Well, uh, thanks for stopping by New Jersey. You know, I hope you enjoyed our, our little slideshow about the divisions of North and, uh, and South Jersey, and uh, we'll, we'll keep coming back with more on New Jersey demographics.